Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general love reading for May 2020 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say for May 2020. Thank you for clicking on this video and tuning in. I hope you are doing very well and safe and happy and healthy. Let's get into the cards. Ten of Cups, beautiful first card here. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords crowning, okay, Ten of Swords crowning, Seven of Cups, The Tower, The Tower, The Four of Pentacles, the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Reverse, Wheel of Fortune, and the Strength card, Leo. Okay, let's pulse the Romance Angel on that. Ooh, getting to know each other, express your love, you deserve love, and stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. So what I'm seeing here in the cards is that this person, I feel, Sagittarius, is devastated over something that has occurred between you and this person, okay? We have the Tower card at the base of your reading, and at the crowning, we have the Ten of Swords, okay? So it feels like something's been shut down, something's been something's come to a halt. Something had to close in order for a new cycle to be born. I really get the strong impression here that this person sees your worth. This person sees all your amazing qualities. You know, you're a hard worker. You're a good-looking person. You treat people with respect. I feel like in the past, you gave this person a lot of your time. You try to almost teach this person how to love in a way, how to forgive, how to become a better person. And I feel like this person's learned a lot from you. There's something that you do, something that you said that made this person really grow as an individual into an even better human being because of you, Sagittarius. And what I see in the cards here is that this person is trying their absolute hardest to think positively about you two and where you guys could go in the future together. Now, if you're already married, I feel that this is about solidifying the connection, solidifying that you guys are meant to be I feel like this person really wants to reach out, extend themselves towards you. Maybe in the past it was one-sided. Maybe in the past you were the one who was always reaching out, saying, how are you? How are you doing? You know, what's going on? If they have kids, how are the kids? So the card is saying here, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is like the rebirth of a connection, the rebirth of some kind of love that was so sacred and so important. And I feel like now more than ever, you and this person want to get back to that. You want to get back to those good moments that you guys shared with each other. So I feel led to pull a clarifier for the Ten of Swords and the Tower. Let's see what happened there from the cards. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The Wheel, Major Arcana. The Chariot, number seven, number ten. Ten of Cups, beautiful. 
They have Ten of Cups twice. Trustworthy relationship. Okay. So, yeah, this person's trying to build back trust. If you haven't heard from them yet, I do feel like they want to come towards you. But they're a little um, afraid here. Okay. They're kind of shy. Yeah, this person is shy. They're not really sure how to come towards you. Different personality, perhaps different background. Um, if one of you has kids, it's like they know what the next step is. If they really get involved with you, it's like they know what is to come after that. You see what I'm saying? You know, they could be a stepfather, stepmother. They know it, that there's going to be a lot that they have to do in order to kind of fit in your world, make things okay, adjust. So I really feel like this person sees you in a different light. For some reason, this person sees you completely different than how they originally saw you. And in a, in a good way, like in a good way. So if you have Leo in your chart, this person has Leo in their chart. This reading's for you. Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, okay? So this person is shy. Yeah, four pentacles, okay? This person's very shy. This person's not feeling very confident and what they can offer you. They want to offer something, but they're not feeling confident. You know, they've thought about this. I feel long and good and hard. You know, they really have Sagittarius, but um, something is stopping them in their tracks, I feel here. This could be an ex-partner. Like I said, it, I keep getting this 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 message of children. So if there's children involved in some way, shape, or form, it's it's stopping them from wanting to advance because things have gone kind of left here. Like something's gone wrong. So there could have been a conversation that was had. I feel this was around a conversation or a confrontation about something and it went wrong. It, it rubbed this person the wrong way. It rubbed you the wrong way. So now you guys are kind of just trying to, you know, be busy with your own lives every day. You know, stuff like that. Handling business. If you have kids, taking care of the kids. If you guys are married, like, you know, kind of off doing your own thing. You know, they come back home, but then they're off doing their own thing. So there's an energy here of distance, either physical or emotional distance. I do feel there's some kind of level of distance. It's not as close or as tight-knit as it once was or could be or should be in order for you guys to achieve the Ten of Cups. The lovers, Eight of Wands, reverse, yeah, see. Could have been a rejection, could have been a love offer shut down, could have been an advancement shut down. There was something, I, this person feels like they're left out in the cold. It may not be what you what you feel, it may not be true to you, right? But to this person, it feels like they're devastated. They feel like they can't go any farther. They've hit like a brick road here or something. They can't get past something that was said or how they feel. It could be like a feeling, it could be a feeling that this person has for you. They really don't, it doesn't feel quite good for some reason. I hope that makes sense for the cross watchers. Like you feel like what they're doing, what they've said, how they're moving with you is not correct it's not accurate to what you feel you've done so you both are not really seeing eye to eye but I feel like eventually you will I do feel eventually there'll be a conversation where you both do feel eye to eye and you both do feel comfortable enough to open up and say hey you know you hurt me or hey this is so and so or like hey you know to have that dialogue okay Let's pull a card on the Ten of Swords. The Fool. Strength. 
this card wants to come out too and this one four pentacles what did i tell you yep yep and yep whenever we have the same card in a different deck twice it's it's reconfirming the energy this person's holding back somebody here is holding back four pentacles twice Someone's not feeling confident in this connection. The connection is there. The passion was there. Was there. Right? So there has to be a rebirth. There has to be like a, a new beginning. A new perspective. I feel like this person sees you in, the, in a different light. Now. You know, I, I get that impression, Sagittarius. This person seeing you differently. For some, it's really good. For others, it's like the night, the opposite, okay? For some of you, they see you as this person deserving love. Others of you, it's like the opposite, I feel. It's 50-50 for me, I see, with this reading. Some are ready to advance, move towards. Others are not. Others are not quite ready to um, take that leap right now, especially if there's children involved. They're not quite ready to make this a, a solid commitment. You and me... And the kids are you and me only. They're not, they're not there. Okay. This person, somebody's holding back. Somebody's feeling like they're not sure about it. They want to be, but they're not sure. This could be your energy. Okay, so spirit, what do you have to say to Sagittarius, please? Wheel of Fortune. They want you to know that the Wheel of Fortune will turn up right. There will be luck. There will be a breakthrough at some point. Okay. It may not be when you when you expect it, but it will happen. Okay. In due time. Spirit, what's your advice, please? What's your advice, please? What is your advice, please? To Sagittarius for May. Okay. A fiery climax approaches. Okay, so it looks like you're going to have to go through a rough patch in order to, um, you know, it, this could be a rough patch in order to come out on the other side even better and stronger and happier and more fulfilled with this person. There could be some things that need to be worked out that, that may feel tough on the surface, but it's, it's just only to push you through that. It's only to build you guys stronger, okay? That's all it is. This could just be, you know, a, a moment of getting to know each other. You see what I'm saying? To really solidify this connection. That's what I feel. Make sure, you know, to make sure. Spirit, what's the advice, please? Two more. Two more. One more. What do you need to release? What do you need to release? Stop. Oh, yeah. So the energy, as you can see in both cards, are super similar. Look at that. So similar in energy. What do you need to release? And time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Look at that. So this is just exactly, this is just a time of reflection it's needed okay there's no need to rush there's no need to feel like you're losing anything that it's an illusion that's that's just doubt it's not real okay because the cards are clearly saying that you need to release something this person needs to release something because this person feels like the ten of swords with you so this person needs to re analyze this connection. Somebody needs to really relook over here and reevaluate what went wrong, okay? And how we and how you can make the connection even stronger. So by taking time to breathe out and take it step by step is what's going to get you guys back together. But until these I feel these necessary steps are done and have been accomplished, it, it's it's this energy right here, okay? So we're going to go from the 10 of swords to the lovers with the wheel of fortune. That's that's the the upgrade I see here is going from this to this to this. Harmony and balance from this. 
okay? So it looks like this needs to happen in order for you guys to work some things out, clear the air, I feel, okay? It's time to clear the air. That's what I'm hearing, all right? Thank you for watching. I hope this really did give you some confirmation as to how you feel. Once again, Sagittarius, no need to rush. No need to feel like you're out of control. You're not out of control. You are in control. Things are happening for your highest good and not against you, okay? All the best. Bye. Thank you for watching.